Sometimes you think, I wonder what those people that introduced Elvis felt like. Ladies and gentlemen, Lily B! I'm about eight years old. Not much I knew at eight years old. I mean, I knew some things. Like I knew that it was hot. It was only eight o'clock. I'm already sticking to myself. It's hot. I knew that in about 30 minutes, all my cousins were going to come barreling through that door because my grandma took it upon herself to babysit all 10 of us uh, all day, all summer. I also knew that at 11.55 a.m., she was going to let us go outside, unsupervised, to play in the fire hydrant. Why 11.55? Because that gave her five minutes to throw a mango and a fruit box or juice box at us so that she could catch her first novella. Because <laughs> she loved her novellas, that I knew. So sure enough, 11.55 came around, she, we put on our jelly sandals, she threw some juice box and mango, bayense, and we were gone. God help us if we interrupted her. <laughs> now, we're outside having a ball. You see, it was an especially happy day because somebody the night before had forgotten to turn off the fire hydrant and it had flooded the entire block. We weren't green, I'm sorry. And so this was our water park. And for a poor little girl in Humble Park where you couldn't go to the beach or the pool because they were shooting it up, this was where it's at. And so I knew at eight years old that I needed me some of that. <laughs> so there we are, running around, for uns unsupervised, because my grandma was mean, so having a break from her was just like, yes, yes. And we turned abandoned cars into slip and slides, and there was not a spot on the block that you could walk on without splashing water. This was heaven. You know, around two, three o'clock when the parents started getting home, it was like an unwritten rule that you just rolled your pants up, took your shoes off, walked to your front door, or if you had nylons on, you went around the alley. But anyway, it was unwritten rule. Everyone knew it. Everyone except Doña Lupe. You see, Doña Lupe lived at the opposite end of the corner of the fire hydrant. So she was walking today through the water, pushing her stroller with her little baby angel. Not an actual angel baby, but like her baby named Angel, who <laughs> she thought was an angel. <laughs> And I'm playing this mean game of tag with my cousin Susie, and I'm running past Doña Lupe, and I zip right past her, and then Susie, who's supposed to be right behind me, is not behind me, and I turn around to witness Doña Lupe grabbing her by the arm and taking off her sandal and hitting her on the opposite arm. Watch where you're going. You splash my son in the face with water. Susie grabs her arm, crosses the street, starts crying on the porch. I follow behind her like, girl, you better go tell grandma. And through her tears and her snot, she's just like, I can't because she's watching her novellas. And I'm like, you got a point. You got a point. But, but this is not right. I know this. At eight years old, I know that this is not right. So I'm going to go tell her. I'm the oldest girl cousin. I'm going to go tell her. So I run my ass upstairs and I'm just like, I'm going to tell my grandma, and I get to her French doors uh, that lead to her room, and I see her feet, and I, and I freeze, and I decide to wait for a commercial. <laughs> but she hears me, and she's like, ¿Quién anda ya? Um, so, so yo, it's me, Lily. Uh, ¿Qué quieres? Well, you say, uh, alguien, uh, uh, we were playing in the street, and, and someone hit Susie. Click. ¿Cómo? <laughs> which, was, which was a rhetorical question because she was already putting her shoes on and grabbing me by the arm and started dragging me down the stairs. Let's go. She passes my cousin at the bottom step and she looks at her and says, ¿Y tú, pendeja, por qué no dices nada? And drags us to the corner. We get to the corner and, you know, back then, we don't use doorbells. My grandma, Doña Lupe! 
And she looks out the window. See, ¿Sí, Doña Maria? Que tú le pegaste a mi, a, mi, a mi nieta. She starts to explain why she hit her. Well, you know, she splashed my son. Well, like your son is made of sugar? <laughs> Ven pa'ca. Ven pa'ca. And she comes downstairs. They proceed to lip box for about 10 minutes. Lip box and just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until Doña Lupe says, well, maybe you should watch your fucking children. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. And that is when my grandma snapped and just punched, punched. Like rock'em, sock'em robots. They never move from where they were, and they just punch, and they just punch. Never move, never move, until one of them, not my grandma, broke down like a rock'em, sock'em robot and just begged, please, please, please. Ya no me pegues, ya no me pegues. And my grandma stopped, wiped her hands on her apron, went back to watch novelas. Before she walked inside, she said, no hagan lo que hago. And God help you if you interrupt me again. I said I didn't know much at eight years old. But that day, I knew my grandma loved me. I knew it from the bottom of my heart. She beat that lady's ass. <laughs> and today, Standing here, I know she's up there, proud as shit, saying, ¿Ya ves, cabrona? ¿Qué te dije? Thank you.